Okay, so let's talk about why you don't need expensive fonts in 2024 objectively. Well, also I'm going to mention some of the reasons why I think personally you don't need expensive fonts at the end of the video. But now let's start off by talking about the objective view first. So you cannot make a comment about it. But you know, it's YouTube anyway, you can just comment whatever you want. But at the federal, it's going to be objective. So you cannot kind of like disagree with this value. So number one, it's going to be about the usage. Now, let me ask you this basic question. What do you mostly use your phone for? Now, to answer that question, I don't I don't want you just to justify about whatever answer that you have. Now, let's just open up your screen time and just take a look a second about what you do mostly on your phone. I'll give you like five, 10 seconds, whatever. Just try to open it yourself and then let's just see it. Now, okay, this phone, I'm still using the iPhone 12 mini. Back in the day, this phone was considered as the most expensive phone, but look at it now. At the 2024, this phone is going to be more like a cheap as all junky phone that people no one's want to buy. Now, I don't really know about the price, but probably it's going to be cost more like $500 or less than $500. Now, whether this phone is considered as expensive or not at this year, whether $500 is expensive or not, it pegs to a subjective view, but I don't really care about that. But let's just talk about whether this phone is going to be worth to buy or not the expensive thing in the 2024. All right, now I'm sure you already opened up your screen time. Now let's just see it and let's recap it real quick. Now let I'll let you see my, right here, my phones. And as you can see, I'm just using my phone mostly for YouTube and other stuff, probably like Toko Bedia, because it's just basically like local market where I do sell and buy stuff, you know, for my personal needs. And then most of the other time it's gonna be like Gmail and Safari. And I even mostly open my Gmail on a PC and not on my phones. And all that actually I just work on PC and not really on a phone. So based from this file, I, I just personally and objectively think that it's not really worth it to spend phone that is considered as expensive. Like I'm talking about more than thousand dollars for a phone that you just can end up using it for you too or Instagram or social media or whatever it is, or probably it's like WhatsApp, Telegram or whatever apps that you have. I just don't think it's worth it. And you cannot disagree with this. If you disagree with this, just let me know in the comments down below. But still though, it's not, you don't need that. <laughs> you don't need that expensive thing to just use this file, you know, objectively though. I mean, okay, you can, you can justify whatever you think about it because maybe you're rich, you have money, you don't really mind spending thousand dollar on a phone, whether you're gonna use it for, you know, only for WhatsApp, chatting or even for just like a text message. That's your personal opinion, but still on objective view, general objective view, it's not necessary. You still don't need expensive phone. I'm talking about more than $800 just for like this kind of usage. Well, some people might justify it by, you know, I'm, I don't really have any camera, but I like photography. So I just want to like a phone that's really have a really good camera. So that's why I decided to buy the iPhone 15, for example. Well, that's valid, but still though, at the end of the day, the, the moment you open the camera, it presses the way you open your phone just for like WhatsApp texting message because I mean, it's just the main features of the phone. You can text other people, right? Camera and all those things are like a gimmick. And I mean, you can use it, but still, the use of that is still gonna be less than compared to where you just wanna use it for WhatsApp, YouTube probably, or you know, watching shorts just to make your brain brain rot or whatever it is. So, you get the point, right? Okay, I'm done with the number one. Now let's move on to the number two. I don't really wanna make this video quite that long. So let's just straight to the point. Number two is gonna be the appreciation. Now, whenever you buy phone, if you especially like to buy phone and, and a new condition, let's just be honest, the phone file is gonna be decreased every time you use it. Like probably you buy iPhone 15 for now for really expensive price. And then a month later or two months later or probably like already six months later, the price is gonna be dropped down. Now I know you could buy the phone secondhand and probably even sell it for the better price and make profit out of it, yes. But still, I'm not talking about for you as the matter of person that I actually want to do that because that's smart and I'm not against that. I'm against that someone who actually just purchased the phones new brand new that's not necessary so that's gonna be the case in this video okay i'm just gonna want to give you like context in that case so for that case you know the phone is always gonna be to uh, meet like the appreciation I, I would like to call it the appreciation depreciation where the file is always gonna be go down now if you buy the things brand new it's not worth it and trust me you're just gonna always losing the money now i just want to tell you this phones is like a tag you know phones technically is a tag and a tag built to help you finish your tasks, not helping you spending your money to make you poor. Like, it just makes sense. Tech exists to help you to make more money, to be more productive, not to help you to spend more money on this brand's phone just to make you look rich, even though you're not really rich at all. And then the time you go, it's always, you always gonna be look not rich, but 
eventually it's gonna losing money, which is gonna make you poor basically. <laughs> but you get the point. Yes, tell me you got the point. Comment in the comment section down below. <sighs> Number three, I just want to talk about objectively about the phone itself. Like it's just a phone. What? Why? Why people hype it up like it's some kind of like a goal? It's not a goal. It's not even something that makes you like rich. I mean, of course you can use it to make money, but like still, you don't like. How do I explain this? You don't want to look rich just because phone that you have. Like I'm talking about those people who actually always judge people whether these people is gonna be like rich or not based off like the phone that they use. Like it doesn't make sense. Just because people using the old phone doesn't mean they're actually poor or broke. They could probably way ten times richer than you because you're dumb. You spend your money always on this company to fit this company to make you even more poor. I, I'm sorry, that's just how I kind of like like to put it in this way. But I'm not trying to offend you or anything. If you have like expensive phone right now, you buy with your hard work money and you're enjoying it, you have a hobby and passion of it. That's fine. I I do respect that. I'm not talking about that case. I'm talking about again in the objectively perspective, it's gonna be like this. So, but again though, at the end of the day, you can disagree. You can you know, it's not like a file it. Option, but I'm just trying to share that I think this one is gonna be objective. Well, it's gonna ruin the main point of the objective because objective is not personal, but I think it's objectively this one is objective. What? What am I saying? But you get the point, man. Like, come on, it's just a phone. Like at the end of the day, when people see you on the street, they're not they're not gonna be like, wow, oh my god, you have iPhone 15, I'm gonna give my whatever I have for you because you're really awesome. No. It's just a phone. Like whoever judge you or like think you're awesome because you just have like for example iPhone 15, I just don't think it's but like in this kind of like part, I would like to just say that it applies to anything in life really. You know, people, you know, breaking up their motorcycle, their car and whatever it is. You know, I'm not trying to be allergies or whatever it is because I'm saying this, but it's just a thing at the end of the day. You know, you have phones, expensive phones, or cheap phones, it's just the same thing as a phone to so help you be productive and same goes as a motorcycle it's to help you go from point a to point b really simple car is the same thing too but you know i get the point at the end of the day people have passion about it people have some like a taste you know design matter and then engine and other stuff that's valid but still at the end of the day you cannot disagree that that thing is just a thing and eventually it's just gonna you know broken or either it's just gonna be like devaluate and other stuff and, and then at the end of the day you're gonna die and then you just all of your possession is gonna be left behind in this life so why bother working so hard even probably like taking a loan just to buy things that's gonna suffer you or make you suffer at the end of the day it's not even gonna give you more anything rather than it's just gonna regret at the later of the day <laughs> dislike this video <laughs> so but like seriously though, i don't really want to call out anybody you know if you have expensive phone you have expensive bike expensive car whatever it is i'm not calling you out you're awesome i do believe that you hard work hard for that amount of space that you have and yeah, that's valid, you know, I'm just t telling that at certain point, despite from what you think it's justified based from what you think, there's still like these arguments, like objective arguments that at the end of the day, it's just a thing. And I just believe that spending too much on this thing that uh, objectively, mainly the point of it is to help you to do better things. I just don't think it's worth to like sacrifice your life just to buy it, to own this thing. It's still a thing. It's not that, you know, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. So um, I just kind of don't feel like someone who forced themselves to buy expensive phones by taking a loan even so. It's really good way to live your life, really. Like, you're just cool the way you are without even this possession, really. You know, if you really want to be a cool person, you can just do so by just being nice to others, have a really good and valid or honest personality instead of having these fake things to give you personality or like brands. Like I'm talking about branding designer stuff to just to make you cooler stuff. It's not. It's, you know, if somehow you have Ferrari, for example, people are going to think it's cool, but they think the cool thing is not you, but it's the Ferrari. Well, also, maybe they think you're cool because you can't afford that, but that's all. Whether you're going to be likable or not, it depends on you whether you have a good personality or not. It's not going to change the fact that you have a good or bad personality. It's, it's all just a thing, and people look at the thing, not you, really, though. If you have a bad personality, people just gonna hate you still, even if you have Ferrari or Bucati or whatever it is. So I hope you get the point from this video. I just kind of want to fan a little bit, and if some of my expression or like words uh, offends you in any way, I don't really mean that. Please don't take so. It's just like a 
I just want to make a video for the sake of making a video. And I just feel like I might find people that actually agree with this. If you disagree with this, all of the things I've thought, I've talked about earlier, it's completely valid. I do respect that. I do respect your disagreement too, by the way. So no offense, really simple. It's just, and if you are really like about this video, you can share your own thoughts in the comment section down below and I would like to read it also. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your presence and your time and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.